Hey guys, Andrew Stoughton here. I'm at The Contender on Dundas Street West in Toronto, and I'm taking some of your questions from Twitter, which you've sent to me using the hashtag birdsallday. Let's get started. James asks, should we be excited about the new turf being installed at the Rogers Centre and will it make a difference? You know, it's hard to know what to think because it's only coming from the Blue Jays people themselves, but they're saying that the turf is going to play a little bit slower, it's going to be softer and better for the players. I like the idea of it playing slower because that hopefully means that Jose Reyes and Meister Asturias or whoever is at second base are maybe going to be able to get to a few more balls than they could otherwise. The previous turf, especially when it got worn down and really flat, uh, played very fast and that didn't really play into the Blue Jays' hands defensively. Sporkless asks, what's the solution for Edwin Encarnacion's first base DH partner? Is that maybe a bigger problem position than at second base or in center field? I don't think so. I kind of, I know a lot of people are kind of high on Justin Smoke moving out of Seattle, which is not a good offensive park, to the Rogers Center, which should be really good for a power hitting kind of guy uh, that he is. And he was always a really highly regarded prospect who's never quite put it together. So I think that's an interesting name. And uh, he's probably going to get a, a, be given a lot of rope. And then there's some interesting guys in the minors behind him as well. So uh, it's not perfect but I think there's, uh, there's some good options there that the Jays really don't have to worry too much about. The Zoobs asks, uh, with Colby gone, how do the preseason Jay fan lo <laughs> love rankings play out? Uh, in his opinion, it's Marcus Stroman, Dan Norris, and Matt West. And, you know, I, I don't know if Matt West is going to make the team or stick around, but that is some magnificent hair. And I kind of can't disagree. Stroman and Dan Norris, I think a lot of people on social media have been watching their tweets all winter. And they're, they're great, talented young guys, and they're kind of hilarious and, and kind of super cool. And I think it's a, a great thing that the Jays have got themselves there. All right, that's it for this week. Thanks very much. And remember, you can send me questions using the hashtag birdsallday. <laughs>